Well, hello friends, how are you? First off, my name's Debbie. Uh, you know, it's me, Debbie. First off, I want to say thank you so much for everyone that has come and subscribed and shown me so much support and got over a hundred subscribers. And a lot of it, I want to say thanks for, you know, Charmaine from Char's Staycation and the collab that we did. That's what got me pushed over on, you know, my hundred subscribers. And I think that what we're going to do is on Valentine's Day is when we are going to do pie in the face for my husband. And I think on that day, I'm also going to pick the winner for my 100 subscribers. So that way you still have some time to get in there. I will pick the winner on that day because there's a, still a few things I want to get. But you, got, you can get in for the coach bracelet and a few other things I'm going to wind up getting and I will show all of that after I put the pie in his face on Valentine's Day so I will do that live on Facebook and on Instagram and I will have a video for YouTube but I really wanted to say a big thank you for that I really appreciate it you guys have been you guys are you guys are awesome you really are and I forgot my brushes. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Okay. But I know I haven't been on here, but I've, I haven't been, I've been sick. It's just been, January has not been all that great to me or, you know, to a lot of people. It's come in with a bang. But we're going to do a little eye look. Um, I am going to, I have not really viewed this palette. It's the, the Nomad Hudson Valley. I know I'm on the late game, but, you know, I want to get into this one. This is one of my favorite palettes from Nomad. Um, I really do love this palette. And I'm going in... I think I'm just going to stick with the neutral row today but yeah and you know a lot of people said you know ask me you know why did I start my channel and a lot of reason that I started my channel is that you know I just turned 55 and you know I see I don't see <laughs> I don't see a lot of, I never seen a lot of YouTubers on there that are 55 with my, you know, I have textured skin, I have dry skin, every once in a while it does get a little oily, but not very often, and I think that, you know, that's just due to hormones and age, but, I, you know, I just never seen that, I just seen a lot of young girls on here. And I'll be honest, I mean, you can tell, that, you know, they use filters. They use filters on their face. Plus, you know, they also, they don't have, they don't have the pores like we do. Um, no. And so I wanted to get on here and show you what it honestly looks like to get on here and do makeup. On real skin and you know what it really looks like on I mean this is I've got foundation on I've got my elf primer on my gripping primer with a nice 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 scent you know what I'm talking about the new one the gripping primer and I have my Maybelline stay fit foundation the matte it doesn't look all that matte because I used a uh, very good moisturizer I use my ponds dry moisturizer uh, went in with this is just right here right now went in with my blush trio I think this is from Alta went in with my Scott Barnes sculpt uh, sculpting contour yeah, that's 
what I went in with that. Went in with my e.l.f. brow. Wow. And I did, I did do just a little bit of some NYX finishing powder. Just a little bit. Now, I did that really just like around my nose and around my, around my lips. Basically, that's what I did. Oh, I, and around my, my pores, because this was really shiny. Yeah. I mean, that's what I did. And you can see, this is what my skin looks like. Nothing. Only blurring thing I used was this finishing powder. And they said that this does blur very well. I usually don't use powder. I don't use concealer because concealer really does. I mean, you know, I got crinkles and wrinkles under my eyes. And concealer really does um, insinuate that a lot. Because I, I haven't found one that has not... Uh, I haven't found a concealer that has not caused me to get very dry in my, under my eyes. So I don't use, un, I don't use concealer under my eyes. Sometimes I will use it just right here in the corners to brighten up because I don't have a lot of wrinkles right here and because that doesn't move. So I can, I get it right here and sometimes right here, just, just a barely a little bit right here at the edge to kind of just lift it because there is no wrinkle there. So sometimes I can kind of do it there and I'll do it up here just to give me some lifting if I need it. But that's about it. I think I'm going to go in with another brush. I'm just kind of laying this down right now and then I'm going to go in with something else and try to... I don't know what I'm doing. We'll be honest. Sometimes I just slap it on. But that's kind of what I did. I just kind of wanted to get on and I really, you know, just really wanted to thank you guys. And I am going to try to get on here a lot more. I want to get on here not just to do makeup, but which a lot of it will be some makeup. Hair. I got some hair stuff coming that um I'm going to be doing some reviews on for my curly hair. And I, some new, you know, I've been doing my, my ponds routine and I'm going to get on here. Like, t I think I might later tonight show you how I do my nighttime routine and how I take my makeup off. I've got some new waterproof mascara, and yes, it is the one that everybody is talking about, and it's waterproof, and you know what I'm talking about. But I had that ordered and in my cart with Alta before all this happened, but I had my husband go and get it before it got here, because it's not going to be here. Because I did want to see what all the hype was about, I wanted to see if it really is. Um, I just wanted to put it on. I'm going to show you my real review on it. No shade. Just want to see what it does. But yeah, I... Because I love makeup. I love playing in makeup. You know, you've seen me do a lot of colors. If you go on my Instagram or my Facebook and you look through it, I've done so many different looks. I don't, you know, I will play with color. I will play with different techniques. Like, I've done looks on here where I used tissue and, you know, I didn't use brushes. I used tissue and done my looks. You know, I was born in the 80s, so <laughs> I'm not afraid to play. Neon, which I think, I'm, I, and I am going to do a deck, start doing a decades look next month. I want to start with the 20s, the roaring 20s. I think that's going to be fun. I just not sure how I'm going to fix my hair because I'm I, I don't know if I could uh, not real sure how to do pin curls. I may have to have help with pin curls. So or somebody might have to give me some education on how to do some pin curls. But I did get 
Where to go? I know I'm always turning around. And I did just have it. But in my slag little 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 slag lamb box I got. I did get this um by Rasha B Cosmetics. This cream eyeshadow and it's supposed to be like a multi chrome. I've heard that it's really good. So we are going to put that to the test. And I am going to get my brush because I don't like going in just with the applicator. I washed all my brushes the other night. So we're going to go in. Oh, and I did use um, my Alter Ego um, eye base. Okay, I'm going in very lightly because I don't know. And this is pretty. I'm going in lightly because I don't know if, how this will, if it'll crease. But go in with, I'd rather go in lightly, let one dry, and then go back in again. Ooh, okay. I got a little bit more on this one. That is very, very pretty. Oh, that is very pretty. So I hope you guys are all doing pretty good. I got my great grandson is coming over today. He's gonna to spend some time with his his mammal. Yes, he is. We are gonna have some fun today. Oh, look at that. Man, I really want this intense. I'm about ready just to take this over my eye. I mean, I am the only one that's going to use it. That is very pretty. Okay. We're doing it. It goes on very smoothly, even with the applicator. Can you see that? I want to go in and fix all that after this dries, but let it dry. We're going to let this dry really well. I do kind of like that. I really do. Hmm. Okay. I do like that. And it didn't go, and it wasn't too bad with the, the applicator. It really wasn't. Now. And I also got this glowing palette from my Slate Glam. And this is highlighters. Some colorful highlighters. Or you can use some of it. You could use these as blush if you wanted to. But like some glowy blush. 
I'm using as highlighter. I think I'm going to go in with Thinking about doing this green. Let's do this green and mix it with this gold. Oh yeah. Now that does and since yeah, see if you have a little bit of texture, it's going to. But that's all right. You know, everybody knows. I mean, everybody does have it. If you don't want people to see your texture, then don't use a, a highlighter that's not as subtle. And But it doesn't bother me. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. I guess you could also use that eyeshadow if you wanted to for a highlighter. back into this palette. I don't know. I think I want to use a different color. Let me try October first. Let me see. I'll just go around it. Love you. See, that's the beauty of makeup. You can do whatever you want with it. As long as you like it, it's okay. And if you don't like it, you can wash it off. And like my friend Pia says, it doesn't matter how old you are as long as you like it. It washes off at the end of the day. that's more intense. I should have probably put down a black base. But it's okay. I think I'm going to go in though with a uh, we got this copper crown eyeliner. Let's see. I think I might go in with black though and darken it up. Don't know. 
I mean, I love my pa I love the palette, but I think I'm gonna have to darken some stuff up. Tight line. That's how I get both. I get both my top and bottom water lines. water line, tight line, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to go in. I did get the L'Oreal. This is not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody. And even if I was, I would always give an honest review. But here it goes. I see a one. Now I want to say that I think we have seen a one like this before. I know I've seen a one like this before. Similar to this before. Okay, flat side. I know we've seen, there's been a, something that had like a flat wand. Can't think of what it is. It definitely is that. Ooh, whoa. Definitely is adding some length. Be nice if I could find something to replace my kill lash and my water and my tower 28. Because at Walmart, this was only $11.99. Now I want to go at the side. And I got it on my lid, which I'll fix that. Which that was my fault. One coat, not bad. Great on the bottom lashes. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's a, it's a great mascara. And I usually do use a couple of mascaras to, um, I usually do use a couple of mascaras. Let me check, make sure nobody's. Okay. Today is both my daughter-in-law and my son-in-law's birthday, so I was telling them happy birthday. I do like this better than the Sky High so far. <sighs> yep, there's something in it. Okay. I 
got hair on it. But it is very wet. Clumpy. This one's clumping. Now, I should have wiped this one off. Darn it. Oh, yeah. Definitely should have wiped this one off. You know, use her ear. I think that's one of the things with mascara is sometimes you don't know until you've used them a few times whether or not you're really going to like them. So, first impressions, I do. Except for when I went to this eye. But, I should have looked at the wand and wiped it. But I am thinking now that Rimmel had one like this. And see that? It's clumpy. going to give this a few minutes. I'm going to let it dry. Ugh. Don't like the... Ugh. Don't like this lippy. This lippy is way too drying. I'm going to go in with some dubious place. Mm. What I put on was my NYX new suede shoes. And I put this was another thing I got in my Slag Lamb liquid lipstick and I barely put some of this on lightly and it is very very matte just like my Natasha Diona um very matte very very matte my lips have been very dry since I've been sick so they look really um yeah yeah they do they look really bad <laughs> I don't like it Mm. No, I'm gonna go in with some uh, color pop. It's just an a overnight lip mask. I'm just gonna put some of that on there. Oh, okay, that does feel good. My eyes look terrible, people. But we're going to fix it. We're going to make this blend in.
I'm gonna have to work with that mascara a little more. And that was my fault for just, you know, not knowing. But for some reason or another, I am thinking that I have used a mascara that had a one similar to that. And I wanna think maybe it was Rimmel. I could be wrong. But the only mascaras I have used, oh my gosh, uh, I can't say the only ones I have used because I've used a lot of mascaras in my lifetime. <sighs> a lot. But we are going to darken up. Okay, and I can't wait to get my Adept palette, the Arrow-inspired one. They should be shipping it soon. That was my birthday from my husband. Plus, he got me a gift card to Ulta. So, I was very surprised with the Ulta gift card. And a few other things I got. Got a nice sweatshirt thing from my daughter-in-law. Gift cards. Everybody knows they can give me gift cards. You can't can't go wrong with all the gift card. Birthday wishes. And then, you know. Of course I got the biggest thing i mean i got the you know hundred i got over 100 subscribers on my birthday which really shocked me and surprised me i loved it my husband woke up that he woke up that next morning he was like oh my gosh okay does getting a pie in the face hurt he was yeah <laughs> that's what he was doing when he was getting his coffee He was like, oh my gosh. He's like, I can't believe you. Well, he's like, I knew he was going to wind up getting it, but he said, I didn't think you would really get it on your birthday. Did have some fallout, but that was my fault for going in a little too rough. But it went on. And for my highlighter, I just went in with the um, ColourPop Super Shock uh, in Flexitarian um, highlighter. That's what I went in up here. And I'll just take this. Do that a little bit. And I think I want to roll this around. I think I'm going to go back in here. I think I'm going to go with some green. Going with some green. Well, I think I think we may be done.
Okay, this is it. I'm going to... Look what I just did. I get it. Got it. Don't worry, I'm being easy. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with my alter ego. But I think this is about it. This is where I'm going to kind of stop today. I didn't, it's not too much. I didn't really feel like going in too much, but I had to do something with some of this today. I probably will wind up putting it up. Where's my rubber band at? Now, see, I lose everything. <sighs> there. This is it for the day. But I hope you guys have a... Okay. There we go. But I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful and blessed day. Thank you again so much for coming on here and supporting me and helping me. But we're going to be doing a lot more makeup looks. We're going to be doing some tie-dye. I may even be incorporating some cooking, baking. You guys let me know what you want to see, what you want to do. We're going to get some... I'm going to be back on here probably this evening. And we're going to do some... Take this makeup off. I'll show you how I do my nighttime skincare. And, you know, I love you guys. Thank you again. And I will see you tonight. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>